What's going on? It's KC from kc-sounds.com. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the grid size in your edit windows so you can get a bit more in detail and intricate with snare rolls and hi-hat rolls and whatever type of rolls you're trying to do. So yeah, let's just get into this video quick. Right, quick. Actually, I don't even think I need the headphones for this. All you need to do is go to Logic Pro X at the top left, go into preferences, reset. Oh, no, nah, we don't want to do that. Go to key commands, click edit, and then you need to type in division. And once you've done that, you're looking for set next high division and set next low division. At the moment, mine is semicolon and command, and I think it's that a comma. I don't even know what that is there, but I know what it is on the keyboard. If anyone knows what it is, just drop it in my comments as well and let me know what that is. But um, yeah, all you need to do is, if you want to change it, is click on that, then by a key command, and then just change it to what you want. I'm happy with that, so I'll leave it as that. If I click on semicolon, you see my grid change. Get smaller. At the moment, it's on 48s. And then hit command and that little comma thing. And it'll get bigger and you can see it changes on that on the uh, on the main edit window as well perfect when you want to do them tiny little DL snare rolls or hi-hat rolls so yeah just get creative if the videos helped at all hit the like button hit the subscribe button I appreciate all that don't forget to follow me on Instagram I'm always putting up little tips and tricks on my stories and yeah I appreciate your time thank you for watching music is life peace